This lesson is about the equation of a circle. And in the example on the first page here, we're going to determine any, an equation for a circle that has a center at the origin and has a radius of three units. So this distance is three units here. And we're going to find that equation by using the distance formula. And so here's our distance formula. Now, we're going to find the distance or use the distance formula to find this equation. And we're talking about the distance from the origin, 0, 0, out to this arbitrary point x, y. So that represents an arbitrary point in the circle, has no particular coordinates, but it could be any point in the circle whatsoever. So x and 0 are the two x coordinates. So instead of x2 minus x1, it's x minus 0. And instead of y2 minus y1, it's y, take away this 0 that's squared. And of course, x minus 0 simplifies to x, so that's x squared. And the same with the y minus 0, it's squared. So the distance is the root of x squared plus y squared. And remember, the distance should equal 3 because the radius is supposed to be 3 units. So this x squared plus y squared distance should equal 3. And if we square both sides of that, and the reason for squaring is to get rid of the square root on the left, squaring and squaring taking the square root are opposite operations, so they cancel one another out. And so on the left, the root of x squared plus y squared squared simplifies to just x squared plus y squared, and 3 squared is 9. So the equation for this circle is x squared plus y squared equals 9. Notice the constant on the right side of the equation is the radius squared. 3 squared is what gave this 9. Now in general, as well, if you have any circle with a center at the origin and a radius r, so we're saying that this distance right here is r, then the equation of that circle will always be x squared plus y squared equals whatever that radius is squared. On it, the second page, in example two, we're given, we have a circle here that goes to the point negative three, four, and we're asked to determine an equation for this circle. So remember the general form of an equation for a circle with a center of the origin of radius r is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And really all we have to do is find what r is. Now this, this point, negative three, four, is on the circle so it must satisfy the equation of the circle. Hence, we'll substitute the negative 3 x coordinate in place of x and the 4 y coordinate in place of y. And negative 3 squared is 9, and 4 squared is 16. 9 and 16 add to 25, so r squared equals 25, and we get a radius of 5. So this radius here is 5 units, and it certainly looks like it, that's 5 units out to there. So the equation of this circle is x squared plus y squared equals 25. In the last example on the bottom part of the page, we're asked to check if each of these three points is on the circle, inside the circle, or outside the circle. And we're really comparing the distance from the center, the 0, 0 point, out to each point to see if it's bigger than 5 and outside the circle, equal to 5 and on the circle, or less than 5 and inside the circle. And so remember the distance formula. Uh, the x1 and y1 will represent the coordinates of our center at the origin, so they're both 0. So remember the formula to find the distance from the uh, center out to any point is just the root of x squared plus y squared. And so we we'll use that over here. The point 2, negative 3. 2 is the x. Negative 3 is the y. 2 squared is 4. And negative 3 squared is 9. 9 and 4 add to 13. So the distance from the origin out to 2, negative 3, it's just the root of 13. And that is less than 5. Remember, 5 is the radius in the circle. So since it's less than 5, and if we plot the point, 2, negative 3 would be right here. And it certainly does look from the graph like 2, negative 3 is inside the circle. And we're guaranteed it is because of the fact that the root of 13 is smaller than the radius of 5. So we would say then that 2, negative 3 is inside the circle. 
Now, 1,5 isn't quite so obvious. If we plot the point 1,5, it's around there. Looks like it might be outside the circle, but it's pretty close. So we can guarantee that by using this formula. 1 is the x coordinate we're going to square, and 5 the y. So 1 squared is 1, and 5 squared is 25, and they add to 26. So the root of 26 is a little bit bigger than 5, larger than the radius. So that's why 1, 5 is outside the circle, just barely, but it is outside the circle. Now, the last one is negative 4, negative 3. And it looks like negative 4, negative 3 is probably on the circle. We'll guarantee that it is in a moment. Using the formula and substituting negative 4 in place of x and negative 3 in place of y, negative 4 squared is 16, and negative 3 squared is 9. And 16 and 9 add to 25, so the root of 25 works out to be exactly 5. It's exactly equal to the radius. And so that's why negative 4 and negative 3 is on the circle. And that's the end of the lesson.